Mm-hmm. Hello, it's Alex from Epcot Gaming again, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play KSP Realistic Series. And uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize for not making episodes for the last week or two, um, at least in this series. Um, my life's been kind of hectic the last couple weeks, uh, just with my day job and everything like that, and just haven't had time to edit a proper video for KSP. So uh, I apologize for that, and hopefully you'll forgive me. Uh, this episode, we do have a couple interesting things going on, and we're definitely setting up for some more interesting things to come, so hopefully you'll stay tuned. Um, right now, just basically building a simple uh, Keythane mining uh, implementation, I guess you would call it. Uh, it's kind of an all-in-one, uh, capable of mining, converting, and delivering uh, fuel. So uh, this is going to be going to Minmus, obviously, uh, where we had been scanning for Keythane and found a couple deposits there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it's going to be doing. It is going to be manned. It's going to be have enough uh, food and all that stuff uh, to support a Kerbal for quite a long time. Uh, eventually I do want to set up a proper base, but until I have the tech with all the parts to do that properly, this is going to have to suffice. Um, so yeah, general, basically the general plan is I'm going to send a space station to Minmus, I'm going to have a local exploring ship, which you'll see here in just a little bit, uh, go down, collect science, send it, or bring it back to the space station, process it, transmit, and every once in a while we'll have return flights going to and from. Uh, that is going to maximize the science that we can do with that uh, once a week launch schedule that I have implemented. I mean, the budget has implemented. And, uh, yeah, so as you can see, this gets into space fairly easily. Uh, pretty routine launch, honestly. And, uh, yeah, basically just circulize, match planes with Minmus, and send it out there. So it did take a little bit more Delta B than I was uh, anticipating, but it does all work out in it, so that's definitely a good thing. So, and as we watch it go off from Kerbin, um, our poor little Kerbal there is going to be on a one-way trip. Well, not one-way trip, but he's going to be spending a lot of time in Minimus. And uh, hopefully his family's okay with that, and they realize that he has duties to perform. And in the meantime, uh, we are going to add another mo module to our space station. This is going to be the fuel reserves. Uh, basically all this is is a giant fuel tank. Uh, with liquid and fuel, liquid oxidizer, liquid oxidizer and fuel, um, with a good reserve of RCS as well. So, and I completely overshoot the station there, but I do manage to get it back where it needs to be, and uh, docked up. Unfortunately, the video file when I was recording the actual docking corrupted, but you'll just have to t trust me that I did that without any cheats. So uh, we send uh, Bob out there from the science module to hook it all up, uh, just making the craft a little bit more stable. Uh, that, of course, is from the, uh, the Kerbal Attachment System mod, which is a great mod for building space stations and uh, building bases and all that good stuff. And basically what this is is there are struts that you can do on two different ships to tie them together and it just makes everything a lot more rigid when you're flying it around so uh, we'll go ahead and decouple the service module there and uh, as you notice I didn't just put a pro body on there just because it was harder to make it work uh, so I, I just did a lander cam put a heat shield underneath it and uh, some separatons to deorbit the whole thing and it worked out quite nicely, honestly, I do have to say. But, uh, yeah, just lining up for the deceleration burn. 
And you will see that the oxygen and water and all that is depleted. That's because I kind of did a mini resupply to the station. I uh, just wanted to give it as much food and water and oxygen that it could handle. And I figured the 15, 20 minutes on the way back to Kerbin wouldn't really uh, harm it any. So, uh, and it worked out quite nicely. So. And it uh, wasn't very fun uh, the orbit to watch, but I was able to get a little bit of extra science there and splash down, and all is good. So uh, we go back out to the uh, Keithane mining module, basically just doing the deceleration burn right now. Um, and uh, I selected a site that was on one of the flats just for ease of landing and taking off and base construction and stuff like that. There's not a huge deposit of key thing there, but it should be enough at least for this science mission that I have in mind. So hopefully that will work out just fine. Um, and there you can kind of see it. And uh, just kind of doing the deceleration there, killing all of our horizontal velocity. And this is all, of course, at uh, I think eight times time acceleration. So just makes it a little bit more watchable. And we're going to be settled down right at the edge of the flats there. And yeah, be a pretty good place to set up a base if I do decide to set a base up off of this module. Uh, but as I said, at least initially, it'll probably this will probably be the mining, converting, and transport unit back up to the space station, at least initially. So hopefully uh, that's kind of feasible and we don't waste too much fuel taking it back and forth. Uh, ideally I would have the ship completely dedicated to shipping back and forth and be basically a fuel taker, but uh, as I said I don't really have the parts of the uh, technology tree unlocked yet to do that properly. And there you see our uh, drills going out, pulling the keythane from the surface of Minimus and uh, converting it into liquid fuel and oxidizer and RCS and all that good stuff. Um, I do kind of have inadequate power supply here with these uh, solar panels, but hopefully in the future I can get a module up there that's just dedicated to power and we can just run it 24-7 and all that good stuff. Um, and this is the launch of the actual exploration vehicle there. And we meet up with the space station. Um, this Explorer has two times the science juniors, two times the uh, the goo pods, and two thermometers. And the reason for that is we can collect all the science from one biome, take it back to the station, process one set of it and transport it back, and save the other set of it for a manned return and uh, return it to the actual planet that way. Uh, that way we can get some science before we actually head home, and once we do head home, we'll get a lot more science that way. So it'll basically be kind of two waves of uh, science there. And of course, we have Jed piloting that. And we're just getting lined up for our final docking approach there. Um, unfortunately, with this craft, I do not have enough fuel currently to get to Minimus. So I will have to do a resupply mission at the next window. But uh, I was kind of planning on doing that anyway, just to top off the... Uh, food and all that good stuff and that will be all contained in the next episode so until then uh, this is alex from fcod gaming uh, telling you to take care of yourselves out there and thanks again for watching